All right, welcome to another adventure at Dockside TV. On this particular episode, we're gonna go deep into the marsh, leave the saltwater alone, and focus on freshwater fish, which we're gonna be targeting bass and deep bayous with a little bit of grass vegetation. So what we're gonna start off using, what I'm gonna be using most of the episode is the Matrix uh, Hog, which we have in three colors. We simply Texas rig that, fish it on a shaky head. That way we can rig it weedless. And we're gonna have a new item that we're coming out with in this month's Matrix Bait Box that we use on that Sam used most of the time on this episode. This is the five inch right here. And we also offer it in a four inch. And that's what we used was the four inch one in this particular episode. And as you can see, when you open up the belly, there's a little belly slit here. It's a really nice bait to be able to you know, work any kind of weedless hook into it. So stay tuned for this episode of Dockside TV and subscribe to your Matrix Bait Box to receive some of these new items. This is the Matrix Swim Shed. Dockside TV today as we changing it up a little bit leaving the trout alone doing something nice and peaceful not a boat in sight we're in some crystal clear water putting our new matrix hogs to the work got it rigged on that shaky head that's a three odd hook gamagatsu that's on our quarter ounce shaky head catching marsh bass in the marsh we should have a nice day as the Tide's falling very, very nicely. It's actually falling pretty hard. And uh, from the looks of it, when I look on the bank, it looks like it's been falling for about two or three hours as about a half a foot of water has already left this canal system. But we're in crystal clear water. This area holds a lot of bass, a lot of beautiful wildlife. Hog, we see some hogs back here, some uh, nutri rats swimming around and this is a beautiful part off the West Pearl in South Louisiana. Oh, I just started going sideways. Oh, missed him. Missed him at the boat. Line just started moving sideways on me. Ooh, that's what we're looking for. You know, marsh bass here in Louisiana, they're not really known for getting that big. If you get a four pounder, that's a monster. This is a solid pound and three quarter, two pound chunk right here. Yeah, we got him on that, that's, we call this one the sizzling bacon brush hog. Catching beautiful green trout like this right here. Back in the marshes off the West Pearl. Pretty cold. You gonna look, that's water from inside. I mean, from the canal. Look how clean it is. And all we're doing here is, you know, like I was saying, this is a quarter ounce shaky head hook that we sell at matrixhead.com. We're just casting it on out, working the main bayous. You can see there's all kinds of shallow duck ponds 
off to the side and we're just staying in the main canals and channels and we're just dribbling this thing off the bottom. It's trying to find the deeper parts. The water temperature right now is in the mid 50s. On a sunny day, it'll get in the low 60s. And these fish, uh, they're starting to come out of the ponds and suction into the canal systems like this right here. We really like doing this on cold days with low water. It just makes it real easy as they consolidate real, real good into the main canal systems instead of spreading out in all of the ponds. Fish on! These little marsh bass are so short, but they're round and fat. That little dude. Plump little fella. These things make great table fare. A lot of people throw them back. I throw back, I throw back the bigger ones, but these little 10 and 11 inchers, these are just as good as speckled trout. Starting to put a little box together. It's been a pretty tough day so far, but probably got a half a limit or so. Can't complain. Bass, bass fishing this year for us hadn't been too spectacular, but we just wanted to change it up today, do something a little bit different. The trout fish has been pretty strong this whole fall, fishing the lake and the Chalmette wall. We're into the dead of the winter now. I like to do a lot of freshwater fishing in the winter time, as you see. See us do some bass stuff, and we also do a lot of crappie stuff, which we'll start doing here shortly. And we just wanted to put some of our new lures to the test, such as this Matrix Hog and this new prototype weedless uh, swim bait that's also been working good that Sam's using. good one right there as you can see behind me we got a really hard bend and that's where I caught that fish right in that bend where that current's really pushing that's what you want to focus on when you're doing this is big turns in the bayous where uh, another like focal point we call them suction zones is where a duck pond enters a bayou like this right where they meet where you get three ways and four way intersections and bayous. You just want to look at your map and find those target points. And that's where you're going to find these green trout just like this. Again, what I'm using here is what we call a sizzling bacon matrix hog. We got three colors in this. Simply bouncing it with that quarter ounce uh, shaky head jig head. Got just some nice green trout back in the marsh. another one right there threw up in the shallows that time in that little pocket there i even said it's got to be shallow as soon as it hit the water he was on it as you can see we're fishing a very dreary day socked in fog mist clouds pretty pretty doggone cold i can tell you that my hands are borderline numb but just shows you on any weather situation, There's that's the great thing about South Louisiana. There's always something to do. Windy, breezy, dirty water. You can all, there's just so many options in South Louisiana. And what we're doing today is simply fishing off the West Pearl, fishing a lot of 
tributaries that feed all of the duck ponds. And that's another thing too, is when we do this in the winter time, we usually avoid duck season. We're in the split right now. You know, a lot this area gets a lot of duck hunters and it just helps, you know, you're gonna try it. It's better to try it when it's not duck season. Let's see if they got another one in this shallow section. <laughs> That'll be a hog. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, there's a hog back in the weeds right here. There ain't much grass in the weeds, is that? Oh, I missed it. All right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what lures we're using as we float with the current here, heading back out this little canal system. All right, the lure I was throwing all day was the brush hog from Matrix Shan in our sizzling bacon color with a quarter ounce shaky head. And what this is, it's a Gamagatsu hook, 3 aught, really nice, really, really nice hook that we carry at matrixshed.com. And it's a, it's a corkscrew right here. You just screw the head in, just like a lot of hooks are nowadays. And then it's simply, you bury the hook through the body, comes out like that. And then you can even skin hook it if it's real wheat, uh, grassy or whatnot. The grass is uh, not terribly bad in here, but uh, there's a lot of floating grass that we're having to dodge, and gra underwater grass. so. That's why we went with these weedless models. Here's a prototype that we're coming out with any day now. We got this in a four inch model, pretty similar to a matrix shad. And we also have it in a five inch model. This is the four inch. Four inch, you're gonna either wanna use a three aught or a four aught hook. The five inch, you're gonna wanna use a five aught hook. It's got a beautiful belly slit in it right here. Again, you just corkscrew the nose to the front. Go through the belly slit. It's gonna come just like that. If you if it's really grassy, you simply skin hook it like that and hide the uh, the tip of the hook. This is what Sam used most of the day. Did really well on this. This color pattern on this thing is phenomenal. I love this color. And this is something you can even use on an open face jig head. If you're not in a weed, weeded area or fishing bass, you can simply put this on an open face jig head and fish speckled trout, just like the Matrix Shad. This is so it's a little bit softer than the Matrix Shad. It's more of a, a worm grade plastic where it's not as durable as the Matrix, but this thing works really well when you're fishing bass and some heavy vegetation. So hope you really enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV, fishing the cuts off the West Pearl River targeting bass and crystal clear water using some of our new products from matrixshed.com. Now to get your hands on these products, they'll be out, the, the hogs already in a lot of stores. This new prototype will be in the store soon. But if you wanna check out these the new prototype, make sure to subscribe to our Matrix Bait Box as we always give our prototypes out first and subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all types of fishing that we do here at Dockside TV. Until next time, good fishing.